Good day, I'm Clive and welcome to part 9 of my hiking, camping, storage build and my YouTube studio. Now, the actual bench has got bigger that way because that side's my office so I've built framework, I've put all the shelving in there so I can start moving things off my shelves onto that but that's left that one end open. So on this side I've got about 600mm of the fence painting I'm going to take off and I'm going to replace it with a single piece going all the way across at the just under 1.2 meters so it's just a nice finish at the end this is where I mean this is the office side where the actual studio is going to be or where the cameras are and the lights are coming into me and this is the first part I've completed with my uh, hiking mats in there my steep mats and my camp gear at the bottom. So I'm going to, have to take all this off and start replacing it with this. And the last one I'm going to have to trim down to fit, which I think is about 20 mil difference. But when we get there, we'll measure it because all this wood, they're not exactly the right uh, measurements. So they're sometimes two, three, four millimeters difference in the actual depths. Now these pieces I'm taking off, I'm fingers crossed, just inside of the actual screw holes, they're going to be wide enough for the cabinet doors at the top there. Okay. And as you can see, that is about a millimetre difference. No, let's take the next one off. And then I'll put that one on. That looks better. Okay, first one on. Nice and secure, looks a lot nicer with it being one piece. Okay, let's get the rest on. As you thought it up, the screws I'm using are for treated pine. And instead of having a Philip or a crosshead or a straight, it's actually got a square. And that I prefer because that will go on the end and it's nice and secure it's just a lot easier putting the screws in as we go
Yeah, looks like I'm going to have to take about 10 millimetres off. Oh, 10, so look, we can move. Yeah, I'll, I'll take 10 millimetres off. Because this carpeting, if it's a little bit high, this is, will go under, uh, underneath easier. Okay, before I cut that, I'm going to run all the screws down either end. Okay, let's go and trim this down. I'm going to put the, the smooth cut edge down the bottom just so all the joints have got that uneven look. Go that way. Apart from trimming this now, uh, squeezing there, that's the first little job of today. I think it looks much better. I'm actually thinking when I was uh, buying the wood about getting some hooks, so any walking poles, uh, I can get around to them. I'll just hang them at the end and use the actual space. So. There's no dead space. I only need to see the small ones, so I'll get some of them next time we go. Next thing I want to get done is in that cupboard. I originally put a rail up and then hooks on the rail, and that meant I was hanging down before I even put a pack on. Some of them was like three, four inches or more. So what I've done is I've gone and got some hooks. I don't know if you can see them. So it's going to be about a two inch hang. And I think I can fit 10 of them in there, evenly spaced. Five over that side for the smaller and the day packs. And five on this side for the bigger packs. Coming from the back, coming forward. Yeah, it's going to be a pain getting packs in and out, but it's just going to fit in there a lot tidier. So I don't mind taking a one, two, three, four, four packs out to get to the one I want at the back if need be. But first, I'm going to get some long enough wood, run it down that way to make it stronger because it goes into the shelf at the top here. Even though the packs is probably a total six or seven kilos on each row of five, so it's strong enough. It's just, yeah, better safe than sorry, as they say. Just found two pieces at 45 centimeters, so they'll work. Save me cutting a full length. change the screwdriver a bit back out to the square one. So I'll be using the screwdriver. 
square bit and square screws. I'm going to pre-screw these in ready and it'll make it a lot easier so I don't have to fiddle around. I'm going to put six in each just to be sure. You see all that? It's bending down. I'm going to put six in each just to be sure. I won't need it but all the, the square screws or square head screws. These screws, I've replaced a lot of the uh, Phillips ones, the cross heads with because once they sink in and the colour they just seem to disappear and they don't stick out and they don't shine when the light's on them. So what I might do before I actually put it in there is screw the hooks straight in and then it's less arms up twisting. Okay, let's get the next one ready. Take it as far until I feel it coming, touching the back. There it goes, just touching. And then when the board's up, I'll do it the rest of the way. screwed in. I'll come back and make the other one, get that one in screwed in place, and then we'll hang the packs up. There we are, there's five there and five over there. Now, I'm going to sort some packs out and hang them up. Well done. What I'll do now is put a latch on here, so I'll hold it closed, 
I don't know if I've got anything. I might have something in the Bergen at the back. If I go through them eventually and empty them out properly. I've had a habit because I haven't had this finished properly. Just to put stuff inside the packs and leave the packs there with the gear in whilst I'm doing this and then sorting out. So yeah, that worked out pretty good. So I've got stuff in these pouches here. Got that one. So they're the actual things that are yeah. Yeah, get the get the latch on there. And that'll work good. Okay, what's next? Now I can't do the latch because I don't have one for this. Because I'm gonna put one top and bottom. Top there, top bottom. And I'm gonna put a larger one on here, which should hold it all good. What I'll probably do next today is make the fascia for here and get that fitted and get these wires clipped up out of the way. I just gotta fiddle around with the staple gun to get the right pressure because I don't want it to force these and break them. So I'll have a play with that in a piece of wood and then I'll get on with it. I've got the, this is the aircraft aluminium body one from Stanley and it has got an adjuster here for the amount of force. So let's just play. Be back with you in a minute. That's a bugger, even when it's on the minimum, it goes all the way into the wood. So, I think they're just there, I don't know if you can see them. Near enough flush and embedded. So, let's find another plan. Uh, ah. Got some. 10 millimeter round cable clips. Uh, didn't really want to use those, but I'm going to have to. Okay, I wanted to show you this. Because they're so close to go, these lights and the cables are so long, if I was to push that back and clip it up, I don't know if you can notice, but just here, where it's welded to the actual light bar itself, the wiring, it pulls it backwards and away from um, the straight line it wants to be in. <clears throat> so what I figured out was if I twist it and then fold it back you see the cables actually coming forward before it even starts to go back on itself. Let's see if I can get this pointing up so you can see it better. There you go, you can see the cable there is coming straight out, the one at the back is coming straight out and then curving around. So I'll get them clipped in place and I'll do the other two. And then I'll find myself a couple of brackets to go at the end, one at this end here, to, just to give the shelf a bit of stability and one at the other end. Okay, this first one attached. Second one, and this one I was able to get two clips on it. Two brackets. I'm going to screw either end. I thought I took off something else, but I can reuse those.
Yep, more secure now. And I'm going to get my longer tape measure to measure the length I need. Two, three, seven. Okay, so I've got to go and cut a piece to length and I was do it at 75, 75 drop. That looks plenty. I was gonna go bigger but it went bigger be too much. Yeah, 75 and then it's, it's going to give me a bit of space where I can't see the wires so they'll be cleaned up out of the way. And then when I put this uh, sound dampener on, that's going to be far enough up in there because that's 2 inches which is what's that, 54, 55 millimetres. So I'm just going to cut this to length, trim it down to, but to the depth of 75 and then we'll be back get it installed. There we go. I actually cut it to two uh, to sixty five now which seems to be Looking okay. Where's the smaller tape measure gone? The other piece is bigger, I can trim that down to the 75 if it's, this doesn't work. <laughs> I just didn't want it looking too big. It's going to work. It's going to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is pre-drill here and get a screw in the centre. And I'm going to be using those grey treated wood uh, pine screws, the ones with the square head on them. Ah, oh, there it is. Found it. I think that looks pretty good. Because this is all twisted and out of shape, I'm going <coughs> to have to go pre drill, drill, uh, screw, pre drill, screw.
super. Snaps it. Bugger. Ah, oh, shh. I'm gonna have to glue that bit. I'll just crack the wood. Show you in a minute. Never mind, I'll get that glued. Here you go, let's show you. I'll get some wood glue in there, clamp it shut, leave it for about 24 hours or so, and then just gently tighten that up to hold it. And the rest of it has turned out pretty nice. Look down there, I think that looks nice. And where do we have to get to to see the lights? Yeah, that, that's going to be that's going to be plenty. Okay, call it a day there. What's that? One, two, three jobs we've got done on it now. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have and you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and select all. So you can be notified of all future videos. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. And hit that like button.